Welcome to Learning User. Today we're going to learn how to find the missing base or exponent. Exponent. An exponent of a number corresponds to the repeated multiplication of the base number. a to the power of m, n, sorry, a is multiplied by n times. a is a base number, n is the exponent. Example, 3 to the power of 5 is the same thing as 3 multiplied by itself five times. Or three times three times three times three times three. Negative exponent. The negative exponent is a reciprocal of a number with a positive exponent. a to the power of negative n is equal to one over a to the power of n. a is the base number, n is the exponent, Example, 4 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 2. Exponent rules. a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. In parenthesis, a to the power of m and outside the parenthesis to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Parenthesis a times b parenthesis to the power of n, which is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n. a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n minus m. 1 to the power of n is equal to 1, whether or how big n is. Let's say we have to find negative 1 to the power of n, and n is an even number. If n is an even number, the answer would be 1 to the question negative 1 to the power of n. And if n is an odd number, Negative 1 to the power of n would be negative 1. 0 to the power of anything is 0. Find missing base or exponent. 5 to the power of 6 divided by 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 4. Since we're doing exponent division, we would have to subtract the exponent. So... 6 minus x is equal to 4. So we can find x by subtracting 6 and 4, which is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2. 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 8. In this problem, we're doing multiplication of exponents. So we have to add the exponents. 5 plus x is equal to 8, so x is equal to 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. Parenthesis 7 to the power of 2, parenthesis to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of 8. In these kind of problems, we would have to multiply the exponents, so 2 times x is equal to 8. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to x. So x is equal to 4. 15 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 15 to the power of x. Since in 15 to the power of negative 2, negative 2 is the exponent, the x would be equal to 2. Since we found the reciprocal of 15 to the power of negative 2, which is equal to 1 over 15 to the power of 2. x to the power of 3 is equal to 512. x to the power of 3 is equal to 8 times 8 times 8, so x is equal to 8. y to the power of 2 times y to the power of 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Since we're doing multiplication of exponents, 
we add up the exponents, and when we're doing multiplication of the exponents, we would have to have the same base number. It doesn't matter if it's um, division of exponents or multiplication. If it has, uh, if it doesn't have the same base number, you would have to solve the exponent equation and then divide or multiply whatever exponent you're doing. Since in the answer, we know that the base number is five, y is equal to five. X to the power of negative two is equal to 15, one over 15 to the power of two. X is equal to 15 because in the answer, the base number is 15. Parenthesis a to the power of three, parenthesis to the power of two is equal to two to the power of six. Since in the answer, two is a base number, a is equal to two. Thanks for watching, like, and share this video with your friends and family. Write your comments in the comments below, subscribe and the bell button, follow and use your Instagram.